ready to check someone. Now we got now guy that's had on his um bailing all the way up in back. He's reading 200 on his bailing, he's up at the hat and he's breathing main gas. His Nemo is at chest level. His umbilical is secure in two points. He's got his pins, knife, rescue mounted. His umbilical is secure in his harness in two points. His Nemo is at chest level, he's got a dive knife, he's got a rescue mounted. He's got his tool for the job. Hot water will plug in a second and he's uh, on, ready to go. Okay, so let me check for it. Any fitting in good condition. 100% main coverage in that quarter. Uh, from the uh, 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock quarter. And the reason. Okay, we're going to go to 7. Force the tape. Stand back. On approach for Hogesen in Norway is the biggest oil production ship for harsh waters ever built. Glen Lyon, operated and owned by BP, is a newly built FPSO and has been towed from South Korea to the shipyard at Abel. Here it will undergo its final inspection, testing and maintenance before it sets sail for its destination outside of Shetland. To complete inspections on the mooring facilities and the hull, divers and ROV operations are needed. Norwegian OTEC has years of experience in the field and is an innovative subsea operator. They've been contracted by ABLE and BP for this project to do all the subsea maintenance and preparations. It's a big and complicated job, and months in advance, the engineers at OTEC's headquarters have been preparing for the operations at hand. Everything is being carefully documented and planned, ensuring an efficient workflow that delivers quality as well as a high level of safety. This massive ship will produce an estimated 400 million barrels of oil over the next 20 years. One of the most advanced parts of Glen Lyon is its 10,000 tons turret. It has been designed so that the vessel can rotate around the turret while the turret is fixed to the seabed. OTEC's mission will be focused on the lower part of the turret. It comprises of 28 risers and several chain connectors and is key to a successful and safe oil and gas production at the deep seabed of the North Atlantic. The lower turret is over 20 meters in height and at the top of the moon pool, a launch recovery system has been built. Here, the divers will gain access and be lowered down to the sea level inside the turret. Okay, yeah, we're on the Glen Line. Um, we're doing some work in the turret here. Um, a bit of inspection and sort of maintenance work in the turret. Uh, where this is our stage that we use. We're, we're lowered down, lowered down in the stage by um, hydraulic equipment. Uh, that's uh, the stage act provides safe access and egress into the water. The divers actually uh, dons a helmet, which is connected to our umbilical. The umbilical supplies main air supply, video, communications, also hot water which taps into the hot water suit which keeps the, the diver nice and, nice and warm in these cold climates. Diver has knife, diver has the pneumo at chest level, the harness is secure and also the umbilical is secure in two points. On board the ship, a dive spread consisting of two containers are installed 
housing the supplies and the operation control center. The operators here will guide the divers and monitor and record every task being performed. The clients can also view the live feeds from anywhere in the world via internet if they wish to. To gain access to the entire hull and lower turret from outside of the ship, OTEC is using its own developed offshore light diving craft. It's a mobile diving unit with a monitoring and operation control center. It allows the divers to deploy safely anywhere and in almost any environment. The divers can reach what would otherwise be unreachable and it ensures a highly efficient workflow without the need for installing and reinstalling diving facilities. As the operations are well underway, divers are operating in shifts around the clock to maintain maximum efficiency. The careful planning together with the client is paying off. After three weeks of intensive work, OTEC's team is well in front of schedule. As the operation is nearing its completion, OTEC, through its experienced team of divers and engineers, has delivered ahead of time and ensured that every job has been carried out with the highest standards. OTEC, Norwegian Excellence.